Hello again everybody and welcome to another video. This tutorial is about how I use ballpoint pen. So if you're a beginner this video might be quite useful if you're looking into getting into ink. And if you're not you can just watch it anyway. There may be some useful tips that you didn't think of. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay so tip number one and it's probably the most important tip that I can give you and that's paper you want a very smooth paper and that's the reason why I chose Bristol board for this particular drawing and I always choose Bristol board for my ink work and I say this because if you use a paper with a heavy tooth the ballpoint will actually pick up that texture and if you're trying to do some light shading you really don't need that kind of stuff in your life and remember, and you're probably going to hear me say this a few times through this video, is that you only get one shot with ink. So picking the right paper will save you a lot of trouble in the long run. Tip 2 is different thicknesses of ballpoint pen. Now I would suggest that you buy a whole bunch of different sizes, because a medium sized nib would allow you to cover a larger area much more quickly it isn't that good for detail, that's why you'd opt for a smaller nib in that option. So you have much more control and it's perfect to get into them fine little details. Okay, so moving on to tip number three, and it's probably the tip you want to know about the most, and that's shading. How do I shade with a ballpoint pen? The quick fire answer to this is to actually lightly stroke the page with parallel strokes. And this will take a lot of practice because if you get this part wrong you could potentially ruin your artwork so practice 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 is the best way to go with this one and for any of you that have seen my previous ballpoint artwork you know that I love to cross etch I actually use it to make my transitions by constantly stroking over the same area in multiple directions to create the illusion of depth so this layering actually creates my dark the light and yes, I know it's a bloody mouthful, but it is the only way I could think of that would actually explain it. Tip number four is drawing your blacks. And you might think it's a bit of a daft one to talk about, but I personally prefer to use layers to get to my blacks. And I do this for two reasons. The first reason is that if you scribble too hard, you can damage the tooth of the paper. And the second reason is that ballpoint pen is an oil based medium so if you scribble too hard you can also be left with a nasty sheen on the page and you don't really want that on your artwork that's just a quick point that I wanted to throw into the video and my last tip is drawing hair and I actually think this is probably the easiest thing you can do with ballpoint maybe you've got a different opinion just leave me a comment if you do but I found that ballpoint is very suited to drawing hair and I would draw my hair as I go from dark to light with one stroke. So each strand is dark to light. And I do this by lifting my pen away towards the end of the stroke. And it gives you that transition that you want. And I'll always be quite light with this unless I know exactly where my darks are going to be. And also, please don't go nuts when using this method. You need to save your whites because they act as your highlights. You really only get one shot with ink. Right, that's it then guys. I hope this tutorial has really helped you. If it has, please like, subscribe, share, comment, you know, all that good stuff. And thank you very much for watching.